Welcome to race 12 of the NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Let's Play. We arrived at the NASCAR's longest race, the Coca-Cola 600 at the Lowe's Motor Speedway, now the Charlotte Motor Speedway, for tonight's 600 mile event. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is trying to go for three in a row, or will the other drivers prevent that from happening? Let's find out and see. Green flag is out, and we're on at the Coca-Cola 600. It's Earnhardt Jr. to the inside, Gordon on the outside. There's Kurt Busch there, starting third. Michael Waltrip up there, and there's rookie Brian Vickers looking for another great run. Oh, look out. Dale Jr. rushes off the wall, but will still hang on for the five bonus points. As he leads the first lap, oh, he puts Kurt Busch in the wall. Come on, Bush! Here comes Brian Vickers to the inside. He's looking, looking, and looking. Still have not quite made the pass on Dale Earnhardt Jr. just yet. The 133 car is still looking, as is Jeff Gordon, the 24. The custom car has now moved himself into second place and in great position to take the lead. Oh, it's the 134 car. That was a one number off. That's okay. Oh, look out. Junior loses it. 174. Oh, I thought he said 134. Oh, Junior led that lap. The 174 almost got the five bonus points that he was looking for. And there's a little bit of door slam. Seth Taylor. I didn't know he was all the way down to the inside. Oh, darn. I'm on the apron. But look at Michael Waltrip. Trying to pull a big upset shocker. Now Michael Waltrip is behind his DEI teammate, Dale Earnhardt Jr., the point leader, who's going for three in a row. Remember, he won California and Richmond. Trying to win five Coca-Cola 600s in a row. He already won five Daytona 500s in a row. Here comes Michael to the inside. He wants the five bonus points, and he wants it now. And Michael Waltrip trying to... Can he clear? Oh, nope. But can he hang on for the five bonus points? Oh, look out! There's trouble! Michael just cut in front of me! Michael! Oh! And Michael Waltrip goes for a slide in the infield grass, right at the edge of pit road. Yikes. Jeff Gordon wiggled just a little bit there as Michael went for a slide. Made contact with the inside wall with the left rear. We're going to restart lap number 6 of 32. But Michael Waltrip will get the five bonus points. There's Jeff Gordon in the 24, and Martinsville winner, Mac Kenton in the 17. Joining in the mix there, there's Ricky Rudd and Brian Vickers. Michael Waltrip gets shoved up into the wall. He's going to drop back positions in a hurry. And now Gordon, he wants the top spot to, the, to get the five bonus points. Oh, Dale Jr. wiggles. Oh, oh. Junior saves it, and Gordon will get the five bonus points. And now Matt Kenseth wants his shot at the five bonus points. Oh, there's a little bumper. Dale Jr. back to the inside of Jeff Gordon. Back to the lead he goes. He'll take it. He'll clear And the crowd is back on their feet. Two Chevys, one, two. Then it's Matt Kenseth's Ford in third. Then Ricky Rudd's Ford under attack for Michael Waltrip Chevrolet for fourth place.
We're coming around to get lap number nine this time around. Dale and our junior continues to hold on to the lead over Jeff Gordon with eight of 32 laps complete. Dale Jr. gets a little loop, gets a little tight. Here comes Gordon back to the inside. Oh, he's to the inside. Jeff Gordon looking for his third win of the season. Nearly got it in Fontana until Dale Jr.'s last lap pass prevented it. Oh, Dale Jr. Back to the inside he comes. He'll retake the top spot. Oh, Gordon not giving up. As Dale Jr. makes another clean pass. Ryan Newman has gained the top five position. Matt Kenseth looking for his second win of the season. Gord looking for his third. Dale Hart Jr. looking for his fifth win of the season. But we got 10 laps complete and 22 laps to go in the world, NASCAR's longest race. Michael Waltram hanging on to fourth. Ryan Newman hangs on to fifth. A little bit of smoke into turn three. Probably from probably for me wiggling just a few seconds earlier. And oh, but here comes, look at Matt Kenseth in the duel number 17 to the inside of the DuPont number 24, Jeff Gordon to take second place. He wants a shot at the, the top spot with 11 laps complete. Can he get there? Oh, he's, oh, Junior's in the wall. Oh. Matt Kenseth to the lead. Can Matt Kenseth hang on for the five bonus points? Oh, nearly three wide. Matt Kenseth will get the five bonus points with 20 laps to go. Oh, there's a little wiggle. He'll, Dale Earnhardt Jr. will retake the top spot as Michael Waltrip and Ryan Newman battle it out for fourth. Michael will grab it, but Ryan Newman is back on his back bumper. While the sixth place on back is trying to catch up with the leaders with 19 to go. Matt Kinzeth trying to get by that eight car for the lead as we're coming around to get 18 laps to go this time around. There's only one caution, that was from the DEI cars of Earnhardt Jr. and Waltrip getting together on the front stretch. Oh, oh, look out. Eight and the 17 got together, but both saved it. This is getting crazy, just like in the other races. Or drivers are door handling bumper to bumper. Walter and Newman trying to catch up as the other sixth place on back trying to catch up as we approach the halfway point in the 600 mile event. We got 17 laps to go. First caution of the night back on lap number five. 11, 11 laps since there hadn't been a caution flag. Oh, gets him to the inside. Oh, Jenner gets a little bit loose. Matt Kenseth leads that lap, and we are past the halfway point. It's still anybody's race. Here comes the A card right back at the 17. Oh, I'm on the apron. Both up the track. Jeff Gordon takes second place. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. regains the top spot. 15 laps to go.
Jeff Gordon trying to get back to the top spot. Coming to get 14 laps to go in the Coca-Cola 600. Oh, Junior bounces off the wall again. Look at side back. Look at that. Oh! Contact between the 8 and the 24. The 8 bounces off the wall hard, but that damage repairs. Gordon Wiggles, he's trying to get back up there. As Matt Kenson tries to reel back in the A car. We made it to lap number 20. 13 laps to go in the Coca-Cola 600. Kenseth is five seconds back. Just five seconds back. Zero point. Now, trying to get down to four seconds. Walter, Walter hanging on to third. Newman fourth. Twelve to go. This time, Kenseth is reeling him in. That's another five bonus points for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Here comes Newman for third on Waltrip. Oh, there's the bump. Oh, loses it. Little Danica will be okay. 11 to go in the Coca-Cola 600. Matt Kenza trying to get around that A car for the lead. Newman trying to get around Walter for third. And he's got company on his back bumper. I believe that's the Sharpie 97 of Kurt Busch or Kevin Harvick in the GM Garage number 29. That's Kurt Busch in the 97, who's still desperate for his first win of the season. Nearly got it at the Advanced Auto Parts 500 at Martinsville, but, but trying to wreck that A-car and ultimately paid the price, and his teammate, Matt Kenseth, ended up scoring the win. Oh, there's a wiggle off at the 17. Oh, we got some cars falling behind with 10 laps to go in the Coca-Cola 600. Ken, the second place on back. Catch up with Earnhardt Jr. as we approach nine laps to go. Newman, Walter, Bush trying to catch him. There's nine to go. Newman trying to reel him in. Bush on the outside lane. There's between six and seven seconds back from the leader. Lap traffic won't be a factor for tonight. Newman, Walter, Bush trying to reel in Earnhardt Jr. And I think that's Kevin Harvick with them with eight laps to go. Yep, that's Kevin Harvick in the GM Goodrich number 29 looking for another great run. And even his third win of the season. He defeated Earnhardt Jr. at Texas. And in an iconic photo finish back at the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. They're trying to catch a leader as we got seven laps to go. Try these guys are trying to prevent that A-car from scoring three in a row. Here comes Harvick for fourth on wall trip. There's Bush in third. Kevin Harvick will take fourth from Michael Waltrip. Oh, Junior loses it. Saves it. Six to go. Newman all over that eight car. Oh, that's going to open the door for Kurt Busch. Busch is the room between Earnhardt and Newman. Yes, he gets to the outside, but we'll tuck back in line. Michael Walter falling back. Here comes Bush to the inside. He wants the lead. He wants the five bonus points. Junior bounces off the wall. Here comes Harvick for third. Five laps to go. Here comes that A-car back to the inside. Oh, there's the bump. There it is. 
Jr. back to the front. Bush bounces off the wall. Newman trying to pass him on the inside. Harvick hanging on to fourth. Waltrip hanging on to fifth. These guys are trying to get by these guys as soon as possible. But there are four more laps to go. Here comes Bush back to the inside. Oh, Bush trying to get to the outside. Junior blocks. Down low. Junior blocks again. There are three laps to go. Junior is just hanging on to the top spot. Bush is trying to do it desperately he can to get around that A car for the lead. Harvick is the room between Newman and Bush. Not quite there. He's still to the inside. We are coming to get two laps to go. Two laps to settle the Coca-Cola 600 this time around. Harvick clears Newman for third with two laps to go. Now he wants second for Bush. Oh, Junior loses it. Harvick trying to make the pass on the outside. Not quite there. All right, now we're getting closer to the white flag. We're Here we come to the white flag this time by. Earnhardt Jr., Bush, Harvick, Newman, and Waltrip on the last lap of the Coca-Cola 600. Four more turns to go. Trying to break the draft goes the A-car. Bush trying to make the pass. Not there. One last attempt for Bush. Oh, there's contact. There's a crash on the last lap, and Earnhardt Jr. wins the Coca-Cola 600. Harvick, Newman, Bush, Waltrip, Sadler, Kenseth, Wallace, Vickers, and Johnson, the top ten. There is a big crash on the final lap of the Coca-Cola 600, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. hangs on for his fifth win of the season. Bush thought he had the win in his hand once again, but fell victim to a big pileup on the final lap. Here they come into turn three. That's Earnhardt Jr.'s pass on Kenseth. And there was the big crash on the last lap as cars crash into each other. Kane 11, Burden 12. Oh, Gordon dropped back to 17. Mark Martin, 40th. Ouch. Let's check out the victory celebration. As Dale Earnhardt Jr. scores his fifth win of the season. Kurt Busch is one last lap attempt. Trying to wreck that eight car. Causing the eight to go turn down into the grass. Ended up causing a big pileup on the front stretch. But Dale Jr. still manages to hang on for the victory. Newman, Bush, Kenseth, and Gordon. Top five. Kevin Harvick up to sixth now. Johnson drops back to seventh. Stewart eighth. Sadler ninth. Waltrip goes back into the top ten. Casey Kane is out of the top ten in points. Brian Vickers up to 16. He managed to make it to the top 20 in points.
They will try to keep their momentum going. Harvick, Earnhardt Jr., and others will keep their momentum going at the NBA 400 Salutes of Heroes at Dover.